Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Sagittarius and is intended for the next 72 hours. Now let's jump straight into this with an oracle card message for all placements of Sagittarius, all Sag placements for the next 72 hours, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Wherever you got Sag in your chart, this may be helpful for you in some way, shape, or form. This can resonate from the cross watcher's perspective, friend, family member, coworker, whomever. So feel free to reverse the roles whenever and however you see fit. Keep what resonates and chuck what doesn't. This could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it is intended for the next 72 hours. There is no gender in tarot. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. And if this reading resonates in any way, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. I think I said that twice. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's get into this. For Sag, for the next 72 hours for Sagittarius. Message of the highest good for my Sages. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. all Now let's see. Throne, your potential is endless. Number 45, you can look up that angel number, break it down to a nine. We have confidence. It comes with time and practice. Number 23, you can look up that angel number or break it down to a five. All right, now let's get into the tarot for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. I'm getting good vibes. Good vibes for my Sages. I'm seeing the Empress and the Queen of Wands. This is a very uplifting, empowering message. I can already tell. I know I'm calling it before I get the message, but I'm getting that it's already an empowering message. Oh my God, I see my neighbor on his balcony dancing. Like he's smiling and dancing. And like, <laughs> if that's not confirmation, I don't know what it is. I haven't seen this man all day. And the first thing he does is come outside for like two seconds and start singing and dancing and then goes back in. <laughs> he just went right back in. That is so... That's comical. Okay. What do you have for my Sages for the next 72 hours? King of Wands. Wow. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, I want to say, because that just came out for Virgo. Huh. And it was like a love offer. But you know what? I'm not going to jump the gun. You could have Virgo in your chart. But for the King of Wands, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What else for my Sages? What else do you have for my Sages? We have the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer or have it strongly in your chart. Someone here could have it strongly in their chart. Ten of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Leap, or Gemini. One more, please, spirit. Just one. Okay. See, that's why I was asking for just one, because I felt like cards was about to fall. <laughs> Overall energy, seven of cups, water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We got the ten of cups here, more water energy. So somebody got a chance, or someone's fantasizing. I'm getting both. Someone got options, but they fantasizing about someone. They all up in their head about you, or you all up in your head about someone fantasizing about someone. Or well, someone could be feeling like that about you. But in the middle of this, there's like the Ten of Swords is a backstabbing betrayal. End of a painful cycle. And I'm getting that you're moving forward. So let's clarify this. I'm getting a clear message already, but let me clarify this. I'm getting new love as well as closing a cycle, but this doesn't have to be that. Also getting family here. This could be work related. I get this as a team of people could have backstabbed you, or you could be leaving a situation where people backstab you and finding your soul tribe or just a team that works you work well with Sagittarius. I get that it's like a, it's, I'm definitely getting cycles coming full circle in some way. But let's clarify the King of Wands. Let's clarify the King of Wands for my Sagittarians, please, spirit. 
You know what? I remember I couldn't even say what Sagittarius was. Like, I was like, Sagittarius's, and now I'm saying Sagittarians. Where did that come from? Y'all probably sent y'all energy to me, like, let's help this poor child out. <laughs> I feel like y'all definitely did. If you sent me some energy on how to speak, comment down below. <laughs> I appreciate you. But clarifying the king of wands is the high priestess, which is someone who's very in touch with their intuition. Their third eye crown is wide open. They have seeds of knowledge. They're in touch with their emotions, intuitions, their spirituality, their guides. Someone who's very spiritually in tune and in touch with themselves. So that could be you, Sagittarius. Someone is very in touch and in tune and they want to move forward. I mean, we have the chariot twice and this is fast pace movement. I wouldn't be surprised if the eight of wands comes out. Someone knows what they want and they want to move forward with something that they are very passionate about. They want to make a love offer. Either you want to make a love offer to someone or someone wants to do that to you. I'm seeing this as a love situation. Someone is in love. I'm going to just call it. Three of Pentacles. Someone is anxious about this, of course. Anxiety, worry, possibly depression. But I'm not getting depression, but make it fit how it fits. Someone is losing sleep over this. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. It could be a third party situation. Because I'm, I mean, and a third party doesn't have to be a side person. It could be work related. It could be just an interfering family member or just an interfering energy. And then temperance would show up. Clarify the. Y'all, this is too many. Spirit, please just give me one. Thank, that's two, but I'll, I'll take it. We have the Seven of Cups again. And then we have the King of Cups. Okay. Someone wants to offer someone some love, but they're very anxious about it, either because that person has options or you have options, make it fit how it fits, but someone here has options and they're nervous about offering something to someone. They want to work with this person. They see this as a good team, a good partnership, but they could just be worried about third parties here. But they see that someone works well together. You could actually work with this person. I'm seeing a lot of threes here. There's three people sitting Right here, there's the three of pentacles. I'm getting a lot of group stuff. You could work in a group with this person at school, at work, wherever. But I'm getting that someone wants to offer a specific person some love and they want to move forward. They want to charge into this. They want to get out in front of things and take charge of the situation, which is such a Sagittarian thing. I wish I had more fire in my chart. <laughs> Clarify the chariot. Because I am a Virgo and I am the total opposite when it comes to love. I am scared. I am shy. Either that person going to say something to me or it ain't going to happen at all. <laughs> Clarify the chariot for my Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot. If you are doing this to a Virgo, go easy on them. <laughs> all right. Clarifying the chariot is the Ten of Swords. Again, the Ten of Swords is right beside it. So it's a repeating energy. I'm seeing lots of repeating energy. So let's focus on that because whatever energy is repeating itself is something that you got to key in on. So someone here is just closing out a cycle, a painful cycle. It could be you, Sagittarius. It could be the other person or both. And I'm seeing the chariot here twice. So definitely it could be a cancer involved. Doesn't have to be. Someone's just taking on that energy. It could have been something that you moved forward with in the past and it crashed and ended just as quickly as it began. And this could be moving forward quickly or you could be fearing that it moves forward quickly. You know, like a cycle repeating itself. You're afraid of that. Someone wants to jump head first into this. Someone's been fantasizing about this. And someone has just come out of a painful cycle or wants to put a painful cycle to rest that was similar to this. I'm getting basically one story, but it's two different things that it falls into, two different categories. Someone closing out a cycle that was like this. And also someone who wants to make an offer to someone new. It's like a new cycle reminds someone of a past cycle. Someone could fear moving forward with this because of something in the past or because someone has options and they're afraid. But someone here, regardless of what that is, they cannot deny their feelings. This is wish fulfillment for someone. Someone here cannot deny their feelings. They're fantasizing about it. 
Clarify the Ten. Okay. Clarifying the Ten of Swords is again the Three of Pentacles. Someone here knows exactly what this is. There's a lot of repeating energy. I have not gotten that many repeating cards today in a reading. Three of Pentacles again. So you could definitely work with this person or you feel like you just work well with them. With the Sun card, this could very well be illuminated to someone. I'm sorry if y'all just saw me spit. I am so sorry. But this could very well be illuminated to someone here. Someone here could be a Leo or have it strongly in their chart. It is still Leo season. Happy birthday to all my Leos out there. I am so sorry if I did not say happy birthday to any Leos. Because I think I already did the Leo reading. Mm. And we have the Five of Swords. So there's some type of conflict. There's some probably issues in communication with this person. Again, someone here, you could have just ended a painful cycle with this person full of backstabbing. But I'm not seeing it as that. It could be, but I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing that someone here has just ended a painful cycle or has gone through a painful cycle of backstabbing with someone, whether that's you, Sagittarius, or the person you're dealing with. And maybe that's why someone's anxious about moving forward with this person. Someone could have residual energy about moving forward with someone or just moving forward on their own. You know, it doesn't have to be a love situation. Someone could just be getting out of something and, you know, regaining their power. You know, they have confidence. It comes with time and practice with your Oracle card and then thrown your potential is endless. So make this fit how it fits. You could have just left a situation that sh rocked your confidence. And this could be a sign that you are about to move forward into a new cycle and it's about to happen rapidly, full of warmth and love and abundance and radiance. You're about to find your soul tribe or you're just going to work well with the universe, whatever it is. Wherever you fall in this, the future is looking very, very, very bright. I mean, you got the chariot twice. And you got the seven of cups as the overall energy. You got a lot of options. Or whatever you're fantasizing about, you're about to rush right into that. Clarify this ten of cups for my Sagittarians. The emperor. You could be starting a business. You could be anxious about starting a business. Or someone here could be an Aries or have a strong lean in their chart. But someone here is a boss. It could be a father figure. This could be a family situation. This is the Ten of Cups, which is all about family. It could be chosen family, whatever it is. Clarify the Ten of Cups one more time. Judgment. So you could be calling judgment on a family situation. Someone, it could be a tower moment, breaking down weak foundations or gaining clarity and truth on a situation. Clarify the Eight of Swords. I want to get all these cards out first because I could I'd be talking <laughs> clarify the eight of swords all right overall energy is the two of cups so someone's fantasizing about a soulmate or someone has options but they see who their soulmate is all right with this eight of swords either someone's all up in their head because they know who their soulmate is they know who they're in love with they know who they want to be with or someone does not see this coming because this, again, the situation could rush ahead and excel very rapidly because of passion or this is about to come hit you out of nowhere. And someone here is very guarded with this nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior card because of a painful cycle that they've gone through before with this judgment karma. This is some, uh, with this, I don't know why I said judgment karma. I'm trying to say card. But it could have been a karmic cycle. And again, with the judgment card, this is something that's happened before. Or you could fear that this is something that happened before or someone you've dealt with before. But someone here with this nine of wands and this seven of wands, someone is very, very, very guarded. Standing their ground because of past issues either with a father figure or a boss or the matriarch of the family, or it could be because of the matriarch of the family or something they've seen as a child growing up, seeing how their father handled things. Someone could be guarded regarding a father figure, but someone either doesn't see this coming or they're all up in their head about this. But I'm seeing it as a soulmate connection. 
that is gonna excel rapidly or did, whatever it is, you know, make it fit how it fits, put yourself where you go. I'm seeing this as you moving forward. And I'm I'm sorry if y'all don't want to hear this because I got the feeling that someone doesn't want to hear about love. Whoever's watching this doesn't really want to hear about love. But you got a soulmate connection here with a new beginning. And then you got the Six of Wands. It's going to move forward victoriously. And then you have the Hermit, which is high. Like I said, the Hermit, the Hierophant, which is higher commitment. Someone here doesn't want to hear about love, but that's what's in your future. I'm sorry. Someone doesn't want to hear about it, but you got love in your future. You could be blocking out love left to right because you are very guarded. You probably don't want to see it. You probably already know and you don't want to see it. And this person could probably be all up in your face or you could be all up in their face. Someone trying to win a situation at all costs. Someone is in survival mode. I don't know why that popped into my head. And I'm definitely feeling like because of past issues, someone's guarded and they have trust issues. And now you got someone all up in your face trying to show you some love. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get you one last Oracle card message. I'm sorry if you may wanna hear that, but that's the message I got for you. Someone wants to love up on you. Or you wanna love up on someone and someone here that ain't trying to hear it. Someone's passionate about something and they ain't letting nobody get in their way. But let's see. What final Oracle card message do you have for my Sagittarians? What do you want to leave them with regarding this message for the next 72 hours, Spirit? Why y'all keep giving me so many? Why y'all keep giving me so many? I'm going to read them. Red, forgive, number 10. I mean, this makes sense because of the past. It's time to forgive and let go because you're blocking out your future. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval, number 12. You can look up that angel number, break it down to a three. I mean, this card showing itself again, potential. I mean, throne, your potential is endless. Number 45, you can break that down to a nine. And then... I'm not trying to rub it in nobody's face or nothing, but raindrops, take a chance on them. Number 39, you could look up that angel number or break it down to an 11 or break it down to a 12. I'm sorry, y'all know I can count. I can count. Oh, we have 12, 12 here. And then we have 10 and nine. All right. So again, it's time to forgive and let go of the past. Release expectations about the future. Know that your potential is endless. Allow yourself to be the baddie that you are, whether you, you're male or female, you are a total queen, king, baddie. And take a chance on this new person because they ain't gonna leave you alone. <laughs> and I send you all peace, blessings, and love. And if this resonated and you would like to book a personal, my email is in the description box below. It's the same as my name on YouTube. Um, goddesspufftarot at gmail.com and again I send you all peace, blessings and love, namaste